Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. This video is a part of a series which is building a second brain inside of different apps and the second brain is something that is universal no matter which app you're using but I will show you how I would use it in a couple of different apps and this first one is called Heptabase and this is my note-taking app of choice. So Heptabase evolves around uh, mind maps and boards and infinite canvases inside of boards and there are several ways you can organize a second brain inside of here. I personally use two ways so I use both whiteboards and tags and I'm going to show you how this works. So let's say you wanted a second brain whiteboard we will call this second brain. Second brain and inside of here you could have your areas, your projects, as well as your uh, archive and resources. So you would have one for every part of Para. You would have your areas, your resources, your projects and your archives. And inside of each one, uh, imagine this like folders. That's probably the easiest way to say it. So inside of each of these ones you would have different whiteboards. Each whiteboard would function something like a folder so let's say inside of areas you would or in my case I would have my personal social media because I post a lot to social media so I would have my personal social media and I would put anything regarding my personal social media inside of here. So let's say I wanted to do a weekly review on how my social medias are performing. I would create a new whiteboard called weekly review. Uh, weekly review. And I would put every weekly review inside of here. And let's say I would have another one called video ideas. I would probably put this inside of here, video ideas. And I would uh, use this basically as a folder structure. And the only problem with that is that every time you get a lot of different notes. So let's jump back into my, uh, my personal space. Every time you get a lot of different notes, it can become really hard to see a lot of your notes and find the notes you're looking for. You can of course use search if you wanted to. So you could search for different things if you wanted to do that. But um, most likely you would have a hard time finding your different notes. But I personally like having this sort of view and just looking at what I've taken notes on. But you might not like that and at, in that case this method probably isn't for you. So let's say I wanted to delete this because I'm not going to use this. Another way to do it is actually using uh, tags. So I will de delete this group. Uh, inside of Heptabase you can actually you can actually uh, have tags underneath groups. So I have my areas, my resources, my archive, and I have different tags underneath this. So everything regarding a second brain is inside of here. I haven't tagged everything yet because I'm kind of lazy. So my organization isn't the best yet, but you could do it like this. So create an area tag and have people, personal thoughts, social media ideas, you could have your resources, your books, apps, second brain, author, and you could have your archive as well. The good part about this sort of organization inside of Heptabase is that you actually get uh, you actually get databases and Kanban views. If you like using databases and Kanban views, this is probably the best way to do it. So I have a database of all of my social media ideas. I am probably going to post something on LinkedIn very soon. I'm working towards it, but it is really hard. Uh, and you can move different things inside of your uh, inside of your Kanban view as you do them. So I could move this to going to do. I will move it back now. The video on the commonplace book is done. So you could do 
project management inside of here as well. Or you could just have everything as a database. So if I wanted a database with all of the apps I have or am going to review, I could have it like this and I could add different properties to it. So this is another way of organizing and it is probably a lot easier to find your things if you organize in this way. But the options are endless with a lot of note-taking apps because they are so versatile and you can build out your own system. So I like to have it this way because I can connect different things together using the arrows. I could link different things together. You can do that in another in the tags as well. It, it is not like it will disappear, but I can link different things together. I can see visually see the links, how everything is connected together, which is something I enjoy uh, and something that makes it a lot easier for me to to actually uh, see ideas and come up with new ideas, but you could just as easily do it inside of a tag system as well if you're more used to that. So that's one way to build, or actually two ways to build a second brain inside of Heptabase. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't done so, this channel is all about productivity, mindfulness, and mindful productivity. So please do subscribe, and I hope to see you again quite soon.